Hello students, today we will be doing congruent and similarity. Many students have got a confusion between what is congruent, what is similarity. There are two things, one is the shape and the size. That is your shape and the size. If shape and size both are same, then those are congruent. Only if the shape is same, only if the shape is same, then we say similarity. If you are seeing the map of world, you know where is where USA is, where India is, where other countries are. How exactly the world looks, the map also looks exactly the same. You cannot have a bigger map, like a bigger paper as what the world is. You will have a smaller map, only the shape is same, the size is not same. That is what is called as similarity. Congruent exactly same. Even for similarity, if you click the snap of yourself, you get the, the, this was a small photo. This photo is exactly similar to how we are looking. It would be of that size, of your size. So we say that is your photo is similar to how we are looking. Now we will do over a test for similarity. This is what you get over a test for similarity and test for congruence. We will have a test over here. If you see, this is what we are doing is with triangle. That is, triangles are congruent or triangles are similar. If you see in a triangle, if you see in a triangle, there are three sides, one, two, three, and three angles. We need to say two triangles are similar. We do not have to go with all sides or all angles. For congruency, you got five tests. For congruency, you got five tests. And for similarity, you got three tests. Now, what are the tests for congruency? The tests for congruency are just now I said test for congruence. There are five tests for congruence. Keep in mind five tests for congruence. One of the five tests for congruence is SAS, Sasbi Kavi Bhavuti. That is SAS test. What do you mean by SAS test? If you got this triangle over here and one more triangle over here. Suppose the name of this triangle is ABC. The name of this triangle is PQR. If you got this side and this side is congruent, again then this side and this side is congruent. When you say S A A, that is side, angle, side. That is two sides should be congruent, and it's compulsory that is the included angle, this angle should be congruent. Then we can say both the triangles are congruent by S A. Yes, it's compulsory between the sides only, both the angles should be there. So this side and this side is congruent, this side and this side is congruent, and the angles, therefore they are congruent by S, A, S test. Then we get the next one, tell opposite of this, that is A, S, A test. A, S stands for angle, side, angle. So what is the angle, side, angle? The same thing, suppose this is a triangle over here. This is again a triangle over here, again we will take the name of this triangle as A. P, this is C, this is P, this is Q, and this is R. Now, ASM is, suppose this angle and this angle is congruent. This angle and this angle is congruent. So, two angles are congruent. What is this angle is congruent to this angle? Angle C is congruent to angle R. And when you say S, A, S, A, the side is in between. So, it's compulsory that is this side and this side should be congruent. Then we can say that is A, S, A. The angles, the angles should, the between the angle, the side should be there. Then it is A S A test. Then we go with the next test that is called as the easiest test. That is S S S. That is the easiest test. S S S stands for side, side, side. What do you mean by side, side, side? From the name only, name only itself, you can make out. What do you mean by side, side, side? Side, 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 and this side is congruent to this corresponding side. This side and this side is congruent. And this side and this side is congruent. Then we can say both the triangles are congruent by S, S, S test. Then we get the next one that is called as S, A, A test. Now when we say S, A, A test, now pay attention. When we say with S, A, A test, this is triangle A, B, C. This is your triangle P, Q, R. Now this is side, angle, angle. Now if you take this angle and this angle, this angle and this angle. Now we will check. Over here also I took this and this angle so over here. But now what happens, the side is not this one. It is somewhere over here. This side and this side is 
found to it. Allow the combination goes that is S A P. If two angles are there and the side is in between, then it is A S A, or else it is S A A test. The next one is called as hypotenuse side test. The next one is called as hypotenuse side test. What is the hypotenuse side test? It is only applicable for a right angle triangle. It is only applicable for a right angle triangle because in a right angle triangle only you will get a hypotenuse. The name itself says it is hypotenuse side test. The hypotenuse should be congruent and many one of the sides should be congruent that is this side and this side. So you should check with that two sides are angle. You will not have this test because between the side the angles are not there. In this right angle triangle the hypotenuse and the side is congruent. Therefore it is called as hypotenuse side test. Now if you check with this test or five test, you use three SAS, ASA, SSS. Out of that six things you are using only three things. Three terms are left, maybe the sides are left, maybe the angles are left. So now if you go with SAS, you did two sides and one angle. One side is still remaining. If these two triangles are congruent, if you say this way, that is triangle ABC is congruent, the sign is for congruent to triangle PQR and that is by SAS test. If you say that angles are congruent by SAS test, the one side is that which is that BC and over here QR. So you can say that a segment BC is congruent to segment QR and you need to write the reason that is corresponding sides of congruent triangle. We call it as the corresponding sides of congruent triangle. That is the remaining sides and even the remaining angles are congruent. So which is the angle which is remaining? This angle. What is the name of this angle? It's angle A, B, C. So you can call this as angle A, B, C. Is congruent to angle. The corresponding angle is this. If you see what is by corresponding? In this triangle, this angle is on the left. In this triangle also the angle is on the left. Is congruent to angle P, Q, R. But the reason will be that is C A C D. That is corresponding angles of congruent triangle. Again, I repeat, corresponding angles of congruent triangle. You did one angle already done. Now we did this angle. That's one more angle which is that. This is the angle. Again, we can say that angle A C B is congruent to angle. This angle A C B will be congruent to angle P R Q, and you will have why again. That is C. A, C, T. So whenever you go with this particular test, again I repeat, there are five tests. SAS, ASA, SSS, SAA and hypotenuse side test. Out of three sides and three angles, whenever you go with a test, you require any three sides or angles. That is totally three sides or angles are required. So that always remember when you prove that angles are congruent, the remaining three sides or angles are also congruent. If the sides are congruent, then we say C S C T, corresponding sides of congruent triangles. If you write angles, then it will be C A C T, that is corresponding angles of congruent triangles. This is your congruence. Now we'll do with similarity. What are the tests for similarity? There are three tests for similarity. There are only three, three tests for similarity. You can call this as A. A, A. Simple. Test for similarity is very simple. S, S, S. And the third one is S, A, S. Keep in mind SAS and SSS is there for congruence. But this A, A, A test is only for similarity. Some students make a mistake, they go A, A, A for congruence. A, A, A is only for similarity. What happens over here? Now pay attention. This is a triangle over here. This is a triangle over here. This is your triangle ABC. This is your triangle PQR. Over here, this angle and this angle should be congruent. This angle and this angle should be congruent. As well as this angle and this angle should be congruent. If this angle and this all corresponding angles are congruent with each other, then we say both the triangles are similar by AAA test. Always any equilateral triangle, because any equilateral triangle is always 60 degree, they are always similar. Now SSS test. Now pay attention to this problem. What do you mean by SSS test? I'll first tell you 
with SSS test for congruence. What we did previously. For SSS test for congruence, you need this side and this side should be congruent. This side and this side should be congruent. This side and this side should be congruent. Over here for similarity, they are not congruent, they are in proportion. What do you mean by they are in proportion? Suppose this side is 2, this is 4. This side is 3, this is 6. This side is 4 and this is 8. Now what happens over here, if you try this side, AB upon, you try this one, PG. What do you get the answer? That is 2 upon 4. And 2 upon 4 is 1 upon 2. Then you go with your next corresponding side that is AC upon PR. AC is 3, PR is 6. Again you will get 1 upon 2. Then try for the third one. That is BC upon Q1. You will get over 4 upon 8 and again 1 upon 2. If you check over here also 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2. So we say the sides are in proportion. And if the sides are in proportion, then we say this is triangle ABC. This is the sign for similar to triangle PQR. Again, I repeat, for similarity, the sides should be in proportion, and for congruent, the sides should be congruent. Now, SAS test. If you go with the SAS test, this is your side angle side. Again, this is our triangle ABC. This is our PQR. We'll take again. This is our two. This is four. This is three, and this is six. Otherwise, yeah, four and six. And then this angle and this angle is common. Now, if you observe, this AB upon PQ. If you divide this side, that is AB upon PQ. If you divide, you get two upon four. That is one upon two. And if you divide this side, that is AC upon PR. That is again equal to 3 upon 6, that is also 1 upon 2. Means you can say this side and this side are in proportion. Because you got 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2, so we say the sides are in proportion. And the included angle, this angle should be congruent. That is angle PAC should be congruent to angle QPR. So two sides are in proportion, the angle is congruent. Then we can say that is triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR and the test will be that is SAS test for similarity. So this is what you get. Now if you go again with this one, if you see that is the triangles are similar, then how about the remaining angles and how about the remaining sides? Over here, if you go with this example only, you got over the triangles are similar. So the remaining angle, this is your first triangle, you can see that is angle ABC is what you can say is congruent. The triangles are similar, therefore the angles are congruent. That is, you say angle APC is congruent to angle PQR. The reason will be corresponding angles of SS. S is corresponding angles of similar triangles. Even this angle will be congruent, that is, angle ACB will be congruent to angle PRQ with the same reason that is CAS. T. That's one more side remaining. How can you say about this side? If these sides are in the ratio 1 is to 2, these sides are in the ratio 1 is to 2, therefore the remaining side that is BC upon QR is also 1 upon 2. You need to write corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion. Now, a brief description about similarity and congruence. Again, I repeat. If two triangles are congruent, we got totally that is five, this triangle and this triangle, we got our five tests for congruence, for similarity, the triangles are similar, we got three tests for similarity. Again I repeat, five tests are S, A, S, A, S, A, S, 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 a, A and hypotenuse side test. For similarity, it's A, A, A test, S, A, S test and S, S, S test. If the triangles are congruent, their corresponding sides, the corresponding radio that is corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent. 
and the corresponding angles of congruent triangles are congruent. But in similarity, the only the corresponding angles of similar triangles are congruent and the corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion. This is what you need to remember in congruency and similar. Hope you liked my video. If you like my video, please give a like and also subscribe to my channel which is KCYC. Thank you.